know that you guys are all strong, independent women going out into the world and asserting yourself and getting things done without the need for anyone else's help. And that's great, and I value that as a fellow, you know, female. However, some men may feel threatened by that, and they may try to attack you. As your friend, I think it's my responsibility to try to prepare you for that and keep you from getting hurt. So, I've taken the liberty of preparing five ways to avoid being raped, and they are as follows. Number one takes a certain kind of diva to pull off, but I feel like you guys are capable. Number one for scaring off a rapist is attitude. Yo, I'm a rapist. I'm gonna attack you and stuff. <laughs> um, excuse me? What do you think you're doing? I'm, I'm a, I'm a rapist. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Right, no, uh, you need to back the heck up and get out of my business before I get angry, alright? Do you know what I am saying? Alright. Sorry about that. Now, number two, you may not feel like it applies to this situation, but trust me, it will be effective. So, number two for scaring off a rapist, stop, drop, and roll. Yo, I'm a rapist. Oh, no! Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! Whoa, you want us to call, like, a firefighter or something? Number three is one that I use quite often to scare off people, and it's a classic that I have so classily named, The Ugly Face. Yo, I'm a rapist, honey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh my god. Hi, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. No, you know what? I'm going to change my mind on this one. I'm going to leave. Number four, I must say I stole from something else. But it's something that I've seen in action, and it does work. So number four, swipe or no swiping. Yo, I'm a rapist. Swipe or no swiping. Swipe or no swiping. Swipe or no swiping. Aw, man. Number five is another favorite of mine, and I feel like it's the most effective. And it, is, um, it doesn't have a nice short name, but it does have a name that kind of describes the action so that you'll never get confused in its application. So number five for scaring off a rapist is acting like a bear or dinosaur. It's really your choice. Yo, I'm a rapist. <gasps> roar, roar. Oh my gosh, it's a bear or a dinosaur. Yeah. Obviously, this is just a joke, and I understand that being raped is not something to be joked about, and it's a very serious matter, and I understand that, and um, I hope that as my friend of 60 Gags are sure that you're, you know, you're not walking alone in places, you're not walking alone, especially at night in places, especially open places that you're unfamiliar with, or even if you're familiar with it, I want you to be aware of your surroundings. Um, I mean, you know, pepper spray, there's whistles, there's all kinds of stuff that you guys can carry around to, to make sure that, you know, if you are ever put in a situation that you can get out of it. I know some of you guys take a self-defense class, and that's really great, um, because it's, it's serious, and it happens, and it's scary, and it's something that I would never wish on anybody, um, not even my worst enemy, because it's just, it's an awful, awful thing to do to somebody. Um, so I hope that you guys are staying safe, and, um... I hope I don't bring down your good times, because I know that you, you want to go out and you want to have fun, but um, but I figured this kind of video needs a disclaimer, so to let you guys know that, I mean, I know you guys know, but anybody else that sees, to know that I'm not making light of the matter, I'm um, just making a video, so, just hope you guys enjoyed it for what it was, and not, um, what it wasn't. I'm not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>